Talofa, Malale, Mbula, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 53 of Breakfast Bites by TevoVosports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's Sports on a beautiful Thursday morning, 23rd February 2023. Coming to you from Paradise on the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. And in rugby, the ESPN preview of the Fijian Drua says more will be expected of the Fijian Drua in 2023, with the team having a longer preseason and six home games. The key will be finding the balance between structure and the natural Fijian flair to counter-attack from anywhere and crazy offloads. If the Fijian Drua are to reach the finals in this, their second season, then winning at least four of their home games will be necessary, while their opening match against Moana Pacifica in Auckland this weekend will also be one they will have, have targeted. In Rugby League, the new NRL season is just eight days away and Fox League commentator Cooper Cronk believes the five best defensive teams in the 2022 NRL competition Melbourne Storm, the Roosters, the Cowboys, Parramatta Eels and the Panthers will be fighting it out again for the title. And what does his fellow Fox League commentator Matty Johns think about South Sydney? What really impressed me on the weekend about Souths, he said, was that they had a lot of new attacking shapes. In sports biz, Brooks Running, the running shoe and sports apparel company, reported a record US $1.2 billion in global revenue for 2022. A 6% year-over-year increase from 2021. The company says it is the top brand in adult performance running footwear in US retail, now with 21% market share. Revenue for Brooks grew 15% in the Europe, Middle East and Africa region, 33% in the Pacific and Latin America region, 24% in Australia and 21% in China. In boxing, superstar Sydney Roosters recruit Brandon Smith is in discussions to become Australia's next crossover boxing star, with promoters, no limit, convinced that Smith can replace recently retired heavyweight Paul Gallen, who, at his height, generated Australian $25 million from the fight game. In football, remember how Liverpool fans set off fireworks outside Real Madrid's hotel in Liverpool at 2am yesterday? Well, it worked. Real Madrid thrashed Liverpool 5-2 at Anfield yesterday and Napoli dumped Frankfurt 2-0. Later today in the UFL, later this morning rather, in the UEFA Champions League round of 16 first leg, Leipzig play Manchester City and Inter Milan face Porto. Happy Diwali Liverpool. For TevovoSports.com, I'm Calden Khmer. Mahalo, vina'a and thank you. Please hit the subscribe button below if you'd like to receive more Pacifica Sports Highlights on Breakfast Bites. And thank you all, Tumas, for all your love and support.